Another icon of Grand Rapids is gone. David Fry, philanthropist and co-founder of Grand Action, died Wednesday. He was 81. News 8's Joe LaFergie takes a look back on Fry's legacy and his commitment to the community. The iconic Robert Indiana design sculpture that sits on Camp Al Promenade says as much about what David Fry felt for Grand Rapids as any building or monument he had a hand in building. Could peel apart David Fry's DNA strand, I actually think we could see Grand Rapids in that. The love sculpture was among the many gifts the Fry Foundation has provided to Grand Rapids over the decades. I can look left, right, front and back and see evidence of David's leadership, his vision, his brilliance. It was David and Dick DeVos and Jack Canepa to really turn the city into what you see today. The three helped wake up what was once a sleepy Midwest town. The trio founded Grand Action in 1993, a collection of movers and shakers in Grand Rapids who combined their vision and expertise in getting things done into projects like Van Andel Arena and DeVos Place. Birgit Close, now retired president and CEO of the Right Place Economic Development Group, had a front row seat to it all. For over 30 years, she watched David Fry make things happen. His passion for his hometown shone through everything. He wanted this to be the best city in the Midwest, and that's what he spent his life's work doing. It's a deep loss for all of us because his guidance and his thoughtfulness is something that we're all going to miss. It is all about creating a high-energy, magnetic city. But that guidance that continues. Close has taken like over now. for Fry as chair of the Grand Action's next project, a 12,000-seat amphitheater along the riverfront. David Fry's legacy continues. To honor that legacy, let's continue to do what he was passionate about, to continue to revitalize this community. And that's really how I think we need to honor him. In Grand Rapids, Joel Fergie, News 8.